personally think you guys are biased because you guys are pocket passers. I so, of course, you guys are going to disagree with this How many yards did you have? I ran for 1,600 yards. I ran for 1,300. It took you 15 years to get there. That's what I'm talking about. 30-some <laughs> thousand. Yeah. Like, like All right, it. hold on. So let's quit. Instead of arguing, let's okay. look at a few plays right. from last week's games and see what happened. And of course, the, this debate is because of this. If you see the Giants, the linebacker has the quarterback, but he chases the car down inside, makes a big mistake, yeah. and, of course, Russell Wilson fools everybody and gets seven yeah. or eight yards. Now, Ryan Tannehill is going against one of the worst rush defenses in football. That's why they moved Clay Matthews, the middle linebacker, against you guys, the Chicago Bears, Maybe to stop Matt Forte, but how about this? Here's the number one defense in football. This is what happens when you attempt to run yeah. this play against a defense this fast and this sudden. Is it is it true that you actually flew in college coaches to teach you the read option? I did. So explain this to us. How does it work? How do you stop it? Well, most of the time it doesn't work. And then you see many games where it doesn't. I'll tell you what. The best that's ever worked in NFL history was the year the San Francisco 49ers went to the Super Bowl and played the Baltimore Ravens. Okay. How many times did Colin Kaepernick keep the football in that Super Bowl? Oh, I can't oh, tell on. you. Zero. Zero. Why? Right. Because that's how easy and the concept was to stop. If you yeah. see those plays there, right. either the defensive end takes the quarterback and the linebacker fills, well, actually, or he crashes yeah. and the linebacker scrapes. It's pretty simple. Well, that's good. Well, I actually, I actually like the read option. I believe it puts your best players, the, the opposing team's best players in space. It slows up your pass rush. And also the biggest benefit, I believe, is uh, you know the week of preparation. You know How much time you have to spend in the classroom how much time you have to spend on the practice field it creates chaos. Well, you got to practice that as an offense too, though. That's what always gets me. Oh, we got to practice on defense. But what that's about your philosophy. Your that's your philosophy. That's your offense. You know, so how's your guys, passing offense going to be good if you're spending all that time? Because you have one on one. You have you have Mike Wallace who runs a four two. You have him one on one. Why isn't every team the doing island? this then? Why? You know why? Because not every everyone team. doesn't. Not everybody has a quarterback that can do it. Because seventy five percent of the league has quarterbacks like you guys who can't run, who runs five oh, two. Wait, 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 hold on. Can run if we had to but here's the thing if you watch Tom Brady and Peyton Manning they'll run every now and again yeah. but that's not the way the game is set up to be successful with the, the thing about it is is that Colin Kaepernick does not want to do that Cam Newton does not want to do that I, I don't think Russell Wilson really wants to do that he wants to be in the pocket he wants to be Drew Brees he wants to be throwing the ball down the field the other thing I you know and, and I'm going to say this with you standing right here you're a wide receiver you want the ball to be thrown to you why do you think Percy Harvin was unhappy out in Seattle why do you think Golden Tate is happy that he's in Detroit right now but because as much as I admire Russell Wilson and think he's a tremendous football player and a great leader, that's not a passing but offense. I, but I also, I, but I, like but I also can respect a great running threat because it gives me eight-man boxes and I have one-on-one -on -one outside. So you I know, respect if, uh, that. Again, okay, so if it's so unstoppable, why didn't they run it against Detroit? Why didn't it work there? Why so many times late last year because with the they didn't Seattle Seahawks? Of, they didn't take advantage of their play action. Oh, I mean, they had, that they was had it. The, they had so you're thinking their coaches outside. didn't yeah. think of that play action. And they didn't have one and one. They were in too deep the whole dang game because I watched it very closely. Yeah, Let me ask you guys a question. What? Go ahead. You guys know I played quarterback? I do. Do you know that. what offense I ran? You ran the Veer offense. Single wing. Single wing. Same do you remember player. the single wing? Same yes, I do. Yeah, of course we do. I ran the option in college. But here's the deal. I'm faster than you and you know it.